Okay, you guys, I'm back with my little ghetto setup, okay? I am not at my normal workspace, so take it how it is. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be um, just doing a general reading here for the month of March, but really the energy and the time is fluid. It could resonate for past, present, or future, so take it how it resonates, okay? Um, Cancer, you guys got a lot of major shifts going on here. I so many major arcanas here. A lot of major turning points in your life are coming up. Hope you guys are ready. I see a big foundational breakdown, some completion, some new beginnings. I I, I, I seen um the world card, the will of fortune, the death card. Um got so many of uh, the higher fans, the tournament. I don't know if a breakdown is going to happen. We're going to want to go into solitude. Um, but we'll go ahead and pull on the cards. So, Cancer, some, I see that we have some disruptions. We're feeling a little bit out of place financially or in our home life. We got some hard decisions to make as well because you got the two of swords, two of pentacles, two of wands. So, we're trying to make some hard decisions, some hard choices about, you know, what we want to um put our energy into how we want to plant our seeds because what we, whatever, however we plant our seeds today they're going to flourish right they're going to grow into either good or bad so i see that we're making some hard decisions about where to plant our seeds where to put our energy <clears throat> when it comes to developing your home life material life here also seen a, um, the empress card quite a bit so we're looking to like a, there's an ending coming a breakdown coming so you can birth a new beginning i think that is well worth it for sure a beautiful new beginning with love and emotions i right, see um when i said love the mother of cups came out queen of cups came out oh you guys got oh um so cancer let's let me start pulling some cards here all right Again, this setup is a little bit different, so please forgive me. All right, so let's see what energies we have here for Cancer. General read, March Spirit, come in. Help me read for Cancer. All right, you guys. Let's see here. All right, so Cancer, what's going on? All right, so we got some fresh new energy coming in, all right? Well, someone has a fresh new mind to get money. Fresh new mind, fresh new thought, new passion, right? We have decided that this is the journey, the path we want to go on. I'm feeling freshly inspired. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Daughter of Pentacles. And you also have... The daughter of swords, right? So this is fresh new energy, new thoughts, new ways of communicating, coming up with new abstract ideas, fresh mind. Kind of reminds me when my daughter comes in. And I'm like, wow, I didn't think about that. Like, wow, we really do need a fresh mind. A new way of developing money. Maybe new business strategies are coming in. Maybe we're finding a new way to be grounded. Again, this is fresh energy. This is birthing something new, coming in with fresh enthusiasm, charismatic Um that energy uh, we're, is just a really good... We're, we're fired up about something new, okay? So let's expand on this reading. What's going on with Cancer the month of March? What's going on with Cancer for the month of March, Spirit? Okay, so right now I have the Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands right under the Ace of Wands. And I also have the Nine of Pentacles. So we're coming up with a fresh new idea or thought um come looking a fresh new business idea because we want to get to the nine of pentacles so that means that oh my god it's like we have everything that we want and we desire in our home right because nine is really the completion right um it's the completion right before merging into the new beginning right so we're thinking of new thoughts to get all of our eggs in one basket, to get our home life on track, to get the money that we desire, to get like basically what success looks like to us, but we feel like we have to go about it in a different way. Maybe we're bringing new ideas. Again, we're bringing, we are bringing new ideas into life. That's very clear here. Um, with the four of wands, we were looking to structural and zero in on what we want, right? We're trying to build a structure around what we want and pinpoint that idea so we can pretty much manifest it this is full manifestation in your home life in your material world and physical life you we, we want to manifest that it's all four wants also represents an angel number right so 
it looks like we'll be walking on a path maybe with some other people but we're more than happy to go forward and develop that energy to keep going forward because that's live and well here with the ace of wands so someone has some really bright ideas and they have, they're enthusiastic about these bright ideas they're able to manifest these bright ideas okay so with these new fresh thoughts coming in here and the magician card coming out which has to do with manifesting communicating we have all elements here when it comes to alchemy and having the elements that we need to orchestrate or assemble everything that we want in our world we have the sword pentacles cups and wands here what are you going to do with that are you going to brighten up your future or are you going to look away you have everything that you need and desire and you can manifest it in a blink of the eye. All you need to do is start communicating that. <clears throat> Communicate your fresh thoughts to the people around you who are on the same path as you. People who are walking on the same path as you, okay? Because for some reason, I thought of a few people walking with you. Like, I, uh, I don't know why. Okay. So, I see that we want to hit, like, a particular money target. I keep getting money here. Lots of money. Cancer, what's going on with Cancer in the month of March? What's going on with Cancer in the month of March? Yeah, we're getting all pinnacle cards here, okay? What's going on with Cancer for the month of March? Yeah, you, these new ideas is going to bring you, um, it's like a cel celebratory moment, right? This this energy that you have, some things could be manifested rather quickly with this Ace of Wands and Magician card. So it looks like you can manifest this rather quickly in March. I don't know if you're going to be coming across a lot of money here or what it may be, be but I also see that you need to harness the energies. Now, yeah, success looks like it may be coming your way. Alright. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, March reading. Ooh. Cancer, your energy is all over the place. All over the place. So, now, we're coming in with some new energies. So what I will say here, we have this fresh new idea, but we also have fears of something. Something stressing us out. Is this fresh new idea stressing us out? Is it a good idea? Are we scared and fearful of our idea? When it comes to success, you have to try and fail so you can come back for more information. So if your fresh new idea is f causing you to stay up at night and fear that something's going to go wrong, relax, my honey relax just go for it try it you cannot succeed without failing so don't let your fears take away from massive success i also see like i see this energy like we have all these ideas but then we also have this stagnation here like our fears is holding us back from these fresh ideas maybe we have some old belief systems that we maybe need to get rid of because I, the energy is well formatted. Like you have the capability to manifest. And then you have like the subconscious mind coming here and like holding you back, restraining you. Maybe you feel like um, I'm not a person that's desirable of this change. You know what I mean? But you have this great idea and this fresh thought. You know what? So many people view you in this wonderful light. It's time that you start viewing yourself that way. So also I see and that this daughter of swords here is thinking okay on how to manifest what they want because uh, we ob obviously want to get to this right just feeling complete in our home work life she has all these fresh ideas and she's really thinking about it it's like an intuitive knowing that i could easily manifest this but then again i get the stagnation that comes in and i'm just like what's going on like then here you have the two of wands. Stagnation it is in reverse. So that leads me to believe that we believe in ourselves, but then there's trauma that comes in. You have nine of cups right on top of the nine of pentacles. This is massive success. Your home life is successful. Your emotions are filled. You are feeling fully complete and whole, which is so crazy to me because I see a self sabotage here um what's going on okay oh my god pisces not pisces cancer so now we have the ten of pentacles in reverse 
okay? So I'm getting the energy that we're, we're charismatic and we're starting up with this energy. We have all these great, wonderful, benefic ideas and then trauma comes in. And then what someone told you when you were two years old comes in. And then you start feeling defeated by your own, very own thoughts. And you start feeling like, oh my God, I can't walk forward. I can't use those walking sticks and walk forward because I'm incapable of it. Your mind is what will change your mind. The only limitations are in your mind, right? The only obstacles are in your mind. Once you realize that, you can remove those obstacles and you can walk into that that reverse two of wands becomes upright. For some reason, I see that there's some love, lost love here. Some love is poured out here um, for some of you in the month of March. Um, so... This is very clear. There's, uh, there's a maybe someone's being immature because all these are in reverse. I do see this. Uh, th someone's pouring out their love. Someone's throwing away a relationship with a fiery person, or someone's throwing away their passion or their love for something, or the fire burns out for the love of something. Um, I want to, you know, I would definitely reevaluate that. You know, um. If it is a situation or relationship that you feel like it's worth working on, please do, you know, try your hardest, you know, to make sure you try everything. Sometimes we leave situations and it has to do with petty stuff. And I don't know. What's going on? Can we expand on this reading spirit? What's going on? This is for Cancer, March, Sun, Moon, Light, and Venus. What is going on here? All righty. So... Yes. So there looks like, oh my God, we don't want to communicate with this lover no more. Or we don't want to communicate about this love or passion that we have anymore. And it has to do, again, I have the card of nostalgia. It has to do with feelings from the past for some reason. Sorry, feelings from the past for some reason is keeping us in a non-communicated state. It looks like cancer, you're not going to be wanting to communicate your feelings and emotions by a particular thing or to a particular person in the month of March. It looks like we're not going to be feeling too victorious about this relationship. I know we just kind of changed gears because I'm reading layers and I'm depicting the pictures as they come. But when it comes to love, it looks like we're not we're we're, we're not victor, we're not feeling too victor in our relationship. We're starting to second guess. Like, is this person immature? Like, do they really have the passion and love that they say for me? You know, do I have the passion and love that I say for them? Is this person knocking me off track? You know what I mean? I I just feel like you know there's some maybe someone communicated foully. You know, where you're like, fuck all that, bitch, I'm done. You know, oh excuse my French. But it's like, it was a reminder of a situation that you've been in before. Like, I don't even got time for this. I don't know where this is going to end up. Like, I don't, I don't even want to fuck with you. Like, you know, you don't even, like, right now I'm done. Like, you're too immature. Like, I'm feeling something like that. And it looks like some underlying energy that someone, like, yeah, I definitely see, like, I see, like, you know, someone coming in and you being, like, a person stepping into their power, giving orders. And this person, like, you don't can't give me orders, you know. Let me tell you about yourself. You can't rule over me because it looks like the way that you guys have communicated is not, it's a broken, it's a broken place. Like you guys have a broken communication. Yes, for sure. Because this is a couple for sure. Yeah. You have this father of wands, mother of, I'm sorry, the father of swords, mother of swords. Then you have this broken relationship. You have the emperor, the, the, um, the emperor. So maybe the woman's trying to have too much power and then the father of swords who is not as compassionate as a mother of swords is going to come in like don't you know i run this i'm the king of this castle and then it's like this broken place that is it doesn't to me like we're not moving past here i feel like this is stuck energy you know we're not making advancements past here like at this point we're stuck because when you have the father and the mother of swords going at it and you have two people who are a perfect, like a match, and they're both basic, basically not going to bow down. Yeah, that is going to be stuck energy and a lot of broken glass. That's why I see some love is getting poured out here. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, look, let me say this. Oh, just don't. I hope it doesn't go too far left because it is going to be some miscommunication. It's going to be a battle of who's right and who's say so and who's ruling the 
you know, say so, who's ruling the home type energy, and I'm right, I'm right, and sometimes you could agree to disagree, okay, for the sake of the relationship. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's going on for Cancer in the month of March? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's going on for Cancer in the month of March? Okay, so, uh, some cards flew out. I do see that we have some stuck energy again. We have the Nine of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Okay. So what I see here, we're not ready to offer or give up a part of us or what's in our bag. Um... Maybe we're like, I can't give this up because I fear it, more money is not going to come back to me. And that is really making our head hurt. We're feeling very frustrated. Maybe someone told you, like, don't, don't, don't spend that money over there because you're going to regret it. And now you're sitting there regretting it. Like, ugh, this is off balance with this. Like, you know, I don't feel right not having enough money. You know what I mean? Like, if I don't have enough money then I can't do what I need to do. And it looks like this person is t is wanting to get to um, the, the king of pentacles, right? He's comfortable in his home life. He feels grounded and settled there. He's, uh, he's mature with his money, okay? He's very practical thinking and slow moving and strategic. You know, he counts his pennies, one penny at a time to make sure all his money is there and calculated. But it's like, are we saving our money? Or are we giving our money away? With this sad energy, I feel like we want to be the king of pentacles. But quite frankly, well, things are not working in our favor right now going into the month of March. So I also see us trying to be strategic with how we work to get our money in the month of March. Okay, We're coming in with a new passion, new love. We're doing a lot of thinking okay, and communicating what we're passionate about. I see us like on guard about some things here. I see energy like we have to stand on guard and have our back against the wall and be ready for quite a few things. But also the energy of like, I have to be optimistic. I can't be, you know, be my back against the wall ready for war. If, you know, yeah, so I'm definitely getting that. We're, we're sleeping, we're not sleeping. We have a nine of swords and we have a nine of wands. This energy is like on the line of the fence here. Like, what's up? Like, I see you. I'm here. I'm standing strong. I'm on the battlefield. I'm ready for war at any time, day or night. Because you really can't tell if it's daytime or nighttime, right? You look, she look like she's not ready to fight. But she's ready to stand her guard, right? Kind of reminds me of the Seven of Wands, like being defensive. That card definitely re re def being defensive. But it looks like that defensive cycle is going to end. So... It looks like we're scared of... The, maybe we're looking to defend our money because I have money here. Let's expand on this reading. Yeah, no. You're definitely um, going to be some off-balance when it comes to money in March and holding on to money and having... I don't know if you have to defend your pockets or be like tell people, like, I don't got that. You know what I mean? Like, somebody like, oh... Well, you had $500 yesterday. You had $1,000 yesterday. Taxes just hit. And you're like, okay, and, like, why are you in my pockets? Like, I'm getting that energy. Like, what the hell? That's crazy. Like, what? Okay, and? Like, what are you talking about? Okay, so I see you checking for my pockets, so I got to stay from around you. Because if I say I don't have money, doesn't mean I don't have money. It means I don't have money for you. So I don't even know why you checking my pockets anyway. Like, that's weird. Get away from me. I'm getting that energy. All right, what's going on with cancer in March? Expand on this read. Oh, spirit. Okay. So the nine of cups came out in reverse. So it looks like we're not going to be getting our wish fulfillment, okay? Or something didn't come through as far as money. And now we're stressed out about it. We're on the fence about it. People are checking for our pockets. And now we're feeling like, wow, you know what? I am really, really, really got a headache from this shit. I really, really, really feel emotionally exhausted. Because here we are again where cups are spilling over. So in the month of March, please beware of feeling a little bit depleted in your emotions, Cancer. Um, you guys obviously are a water sign. So you guys can conform to any cup. And um, you can be feeling a bit, again, it just looks like, it looks like you guys are more in the defense and then, 
I'm getting this defense. Like, it's like, like, I, like, I feel like you're honestly in a place where you don't even want to have emotions. Like, I mean, I'm like, you know, like, are you pouring your emotions out yourself? Like, I don't got time for emotions or something like that. Mm. But you are a water sign, so you are emotional. So we're trying extra hard not to be emotional. Maybe when we're not trying to be hurt behind this this money loss or something like that. Okay, let me expand on the reading. Spirit, expand on the reading here. What's going on with Cancer in the month of March? I see a lot of money issues or stuff that we're doing. So it looks like we're going to go into solitude to come up with another plan. Okay, and we actually want to try to come up with a plan rather quickly. Um, it's like a lot of in and out energy. So, in this card, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So, your home life is going to, like I said, I see someone like breaking up or something. Your home life is upside down. That sweet, beautiful garden is going to get turned upside down. Maybe someone's going to flip over the furniture. Um, like that person that is typically balanced and typically nice and compassionate is not going to be so much, whoever you are. But I see that we're like at this point analyzing ourselves and like, hey, you know, I'm a little thrown off balance here. I need to rebalance myself, restructure myself. So, mm -hmm. yeah. The king is trying to balance himself out because he's a little disappointed that his his home is turned upside down now. Like, what the hell? You know, and it's because a loss of money. Okay. Gosh. Cancer. What's going on? I keep getting the lover's card. All right, spend on this reading for me. And the birth card. So, okay. So we have conflict. What's going on? What's going on? A cancer in March. So no longer leaving. What's going on with cancer? March. Yeah. Oh, okay. So cancer. I see some conflict coming in in your home life and we're going to feel a bit put out or maybe we're putting someone out and like, here, take the key too, you know what I mean? Like, or you're leaving your key somewhere. I'm feeling like there's going to be a disruption, but it's like you're trying so hard to still be your yourself, you know what I mean? Your natural cancer, watery, you know, emotional, compassionate self. Okay, you're still trying to be emotionally mature about this hard, about this balance that we need to keep as far as money and your home life. But nonetheless, the conflict is coming your way. You got two fires right next to each other. So the conflict is there. Somebody's, I feel like somebody, oh my God, this is why this gets a little bit exhausting. Oh, someone is trying to look at it from a good light and be like, okay, I could, I can get through this. But nonetheless, the conflict is there. Like, okay, my home got turned upside down, but I'm still trying to be cool. I'm still trying to find a balance, but the conflict is there. I don't know if somebody keep trying to bring the conflict because I see you trying to be mature. I see cancer by trying to be mature, but conflict keeps coming your way and a disruption keeps coming your way. You're trying to be cool about it. Yes, you are trying to be cool. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you are trying to have the strength. Okay? Like, look. Hello? You really, really, really seem to be trying to be in uh, emotionally in control of your feelings. But not honoring your feelings can also feel like you're, can make you feel like you're drowning, wrapped up and tied up, unable to move. Even when you suppress feelings, um, they can end up, you know, exploding in other ways. For sure. So, Cancer, I am going to pull some additional cards for you. What is it that we need to surrender to for Cancer? What do we need to surrender to? Cancer, March, Spirit, Guide, Ancestors, Transistors, Archangels. We're trying to turn up and down with love and give us some advice for Cancer, March. Surrender to stubbornness. 
you're tensing up and taking a rigid stance about something gentle gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself yeah i see again like i said i feel someone's trying to show compassion and trying to like show love i seen that energy like but there was some type of resistance there it's funny that that shot out all right what messages do we have for cancer march for this reading so move on you're giving your answer to transistors archangels come down and give us some messages for cancer please oh okay Surrender your addictions, what, whether you're addicted to substance, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Wow, that's pretty deep, guys. Surrender to drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Okay, so this and this, oh my goodness, it says a lot. Because guess what? I see you guys being emotionally mature in the drama and conflict coming your way. And you're trying to be emotionally mature. So d just stay in your power. I literally see now, I literally said that. I'm like, wow, someone's really trying to cause some goddamn problems with you. And you were really trying to be mature and just like stepping your power and it's like this disrupt disruptions are coming and you still taking it with stride but they uh, just hang in there cancer like for real all right so i'm gonna pull a few more cards from my love oracle deck what's going on with cancer i for my ancestor chances to come down some new rise and venus and um give us some some words of wisdom here for cancer you guys your energy is so strong Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cancer, 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 cancer. What's going on? Sun, moon, rising. This is for Cancer March. What messages do we have for Cancer, please? Okay. What messages do we have for Cancer, please? It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, and perception, focusing. Oh, ow. That was a lot of cars, Cancer. So someone could be stalking you, watching you on social media, just trying to get your attention. It seems like a lower level energy, so watch out for them. It could be the person that you like kind of let go of, because I see some love pouring out and some breakups happening there. Cancer, what's going on with Cancer? Summer, rising Venus, spirit, what's going on with Cancer? Heart with the key, welcome, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So some of you are going to be, not all of you, probably like a small group. It's going to be, you know, running into some new love, you know, be open-minded to that. One more card, please, for Cancer in the month of March. Let me write it. Venus, what is going on for Cancer, honey? What is going on, Cancer? What's going on? X, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So, yeah, I had already said that I see someone breaking up and, and like, this part, y'all going at it. The communication is off. Y'all saying harsh words to each other. And it's going to go left. And then, like, I, I, for some reason, when I seen the Nine of Pentacles after that, I, I was like, okay, somebody's going to flip a couch over. I don't know why I feel that way, but whoever it is, be safe. You know what I mean? Be smart about the decisions you make, even in when you're upset, you know? I know how that could be when you're upset. You're like, fuck all of that, okay? Fuck you, you, and you. You can get it, too. I done been there before, so I, I totally get it. But anyway, that is... You're reading cancer. Sorry about the background, but um, yeah, I know if you're looking for a private reading, definitely inbox me, DM me, message um, message me, um, email me. Um, yeah, like, subscribe on your YouTube channel. I'll be posting the link here shortly. Thank you.